want to be very clear, the United States under President Obama was deeply involved in trying to overthrow the Assad regime in Syria. The United States was deeply involved in overthrowing the regime in Libya. The United States under President Obama had a surge in Afghanistan. We did get out of Iraq in 2011, no question about that, and we got out according to a plan that had been set up in effect by President Bush, but then we got back in to deal with ISIS. Right? So I don't see what's the evidence. What about Yemen? Do you understand the Saudis are conducting this war in Yemen? Under President Obama, we decided to help the Saudis, providing them with intelligence, providing them with air refueling capability, and so forth and so on. Where, where is the evidence that President Obama wasn't deeply involved in Middle East politics? Yes, he didn't invade any more countries, right, like President George W. Bush did, but no president was going to invade another country. Even President Bush was looking to get out of Afghanistan and Iraq. So the idea that President Obama was this weak leader who was leading a strategic retreat out of the Middle East is simply not the case. President Trump is very, very tricky. The, the foreign policy of President Trump in, in, in the Middle East, as I said in my lecture, is a very tricky case. Uh, hard to tell exactly what he's up to, but you want to remember that one thing that is clear is that President Obama is out of the business, is taking the United States out of the business of regime change. He's very clear on that. And regime change is what underpinned the ambitious foreign policy of both President Bush and President Obama. Think about Bush, went into Afghanistan, regime change. Went into Iraq, regime change. Think about President Obama, what I said about Libya, regime change. What I said about Syria, regime change. Think about Egypt. We were involved in regime change twice in Egypt. We helped overthrow Mubarak, then we helped overthrow Mohammed Morsi of the, Islam, uh, of the Muslim Brotherhood. The right. United States deeply involved in regime change under both Bush and Obama. Trump is out of that business. I think a case can be made that it's actually Trump who's going to lead to something of a strategic retreat. I made the argument yesterday, and I'd make it here in greater detail if I had the time. It seems to me, and I want to underline that I'm using the word, it seems to me, because you can't be 100% certain of Trump. It seems to me that we're moving towards offshore balancing under Trump in the Middle East. I don't think that Trump wants to fight wars uh, for purposes of regime change in the Middle East. So I basically...